Hey there, I'm Sir Classy and welcome to another tutorial on SA Tutor. I need this tutorial I'm going to show you how to master your song ASAP using my stock mastering preset for FL Studio. Hit the subscribe button and let's get started. Hi there, I'd like to invite you to my free Telegram community where I teach thousands and thousands of people how to make better music. In this community, I hold free monthly master classes where I teach how to make beats, how to record, how to mix, how to master, and so much more and in between. You can literally go from zero to being a pro just by being active and part of this community. You can also send in your tracks. Maybe you have a song you want to review, you want feedback, you can send it in and you get hundreds and hundreds of feedback and reviews instantly. And also you get access to my project files, kids loops, and much more that you see me using my tutorials. I'll be waiting for you on the other side and don't forget to join in. All you have to do is click the link in the description below. Welcome. All right, so before we get started, I'm going to show you how this song sounds before mastering and after mastering. Then I'm going to take you into how to use the presets and also what each of these effects right here do and then how to adjust it for your own unique mastering case. So now we're listening. This is it without any effects. And now this is it with the effect turned on. Alright, so that's how the song sounds on mastered versus mastered. Let me know in the comment section. Can you tell any difference between the mastered and on the and the unmastered version? Alright, so now into how you can use this so i'm going to relink this right here to an empty track so i'm going to pull up the presets so all you have to do is simply drag and drop this is the preset right here free mastering chain and then you simply drop dump it on the track and when you dump it on it, it's going to reload all the effects accurately. And these are all FL Studio stock effects, so you don't have to worry about missing plugins. And it's going to sound great for the most part. All right, so if you, if you ever experience clipping, you can always turn this down if you ever experience clipping. So I'm going to tell you what each of these mean in detail. So you can adjust it to suit your own mastering case. So I'm going to solo this. Right here we have our equalizer. The, the first thing I started with while mastering or while building this mastering chain was an equalizer because I needed to control some frequencies in the master. Even though it, the mix is decent, there are still some frequency imbalance you need to control because the way you control frequencies in mastering from how you control it in mixing. So I had to take out a little bit of low end and it was a bit sharp in the high end. So I had to dull it down a little. And that was all I did. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy. And if you ever maybe want to push boost the vocal a little bit out in the mix, you can just simply come to the high mid frequency somewhere around here and just give it a little nudge. Or if you want to bury the vocal a little bit, you can just give it a little notch in between. Please do not go exaggerated like this, just a little bit 
I will say between two to three dB at most. Let, I let's say two dB at two decibel at most. You should make sure you don't go. There's a hint panel right here. You shouldn't go way above two decibel change. So I just leave this here because I like the way the vocal is seated in the master. I just reset this. So if you're having issues of harshness in your vocal or sorry, harshness in your um, mix you can dull it down a little with this and if you are noticing too much boominess you can turn it down with this but please on no condition should you boost this this is wrong turn this down you, know, you can boost somewhere here a little bit just to give it a, just a little bit of boost in the low end frequency and then next we have the frequent the stereo enhancer just to spread the sounds a little bit more in the in this um stereo field so you can see just a little bit of nudge right here so this just helps spread the reverb from the vocals the snares every element just spreads it apart more in the um stereo field to give it more space and more width and then the next superpower added, which is really underrated most times when I see guys mastering in FL Studio, is the fruity multi band compressor. Now, this multi band compressor has a great preset in it that is a killer when it comes to mastering. I also use it for mixing vocals as well. It's called Bright. So, this, what it does is that, let, let me, this is how it sounds without, I think I have to readjust this. I mistakenly switched it. All right, so this is how it sounds without the multi-band compressor then this is how it sound with the multi-band compressor so what is that it just glues the whole thing together and adds a little bit of excitement in the high end of the vocal sorry of the master i keep saying vocal because i'm so used to mixing vocals so it adds this way of excitement to the overall master that's to the overall song and it glues everything together like a compressor should and then here we have another eq again to help adjust and compensate for change that's that's been caused from this stereo enhancer and the multiband compressor so you can see the when added the multiband compressor it created more brightness in the vo in the beats or rather in the song so i had to dull it down just a little bit more then bury the vocal a little bit this time because the multiband compressor pushed out the vocal way up than it was in the pre in the original mix so i need to try and get it back on track so this might not be necessary in your mastering chain you may not need this but if you do, you surely find it helpful. Then lastly, I added a limiter. A limiter is kind of like the overall glue that glues the whole thing together and also helps set the tone for the loudness, for the overall loudness level of the um of the song. Now the our multiple compression, our multiple compression added some loudness here. And also when you do some changes in your eq it also affects a little bit just a little bit the loudness the perceived loudness of the song so the limits are just try and help bring everything to a level and just try to keep it there as much as it can so it just controls the dynamic range of the song and i didn't go crazy with limiter it's just the basic setting and I'm already having a great master. And now a trick down to share with you is using the fruity decibel meter. There's this dB meter. I always have it right here to check and reference the loudness of my um song. Now there are many other loudness meters that are even much more accurate than this. But I discovered this is a hack, by the way. This is not this is not set in stone, this is a hack. I noticed that songs that I master within 3 and 5 decibel do not clip when shared on YouTube, streaming platforms and all of that. So I would advise when mastering a song, try and keep the loudness level within minus 3 and minus 5 decibel. I will show you how you can read that. Now when the song plays... Don't 
Let me bring this up. Let me turn this on. Alright, so this is it. Close this other guy right here. So you can see this this tells you the overall loudness before it drops. Alright, you can see now it's at minus 12.8 decibels. So we we'll have to load up our um, limiter again. And then now we'll try and get it up there. Then we'll come here and check again. Now it's at minus 8. Then we'll go some more. We'll push a little bit harder this time. So we try and find the loudest part of the song. Make a cup for again to so you can see we had it up to minus 3.7 decibel like i said try and keep it within minus 3 and minus 5 decibel and most times your song will be okay on streaming platforms so this is how i typically master when i'm using stock plugins in fl mastering can be much more complicated and much more simpler than this depends on the scope of the project but this is my tip that i'm sharing with you guys to help get easy results when mastering your songs by yourself in your home studio all right now if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to leave us with a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so that people that need this video can easily find it right here on youtube and also feel free to check out more of my videos that will help you level up your music making skills cheers